Amen, someone stop me I've been sent here from Illuminati Evil scriptures written on my body Me and Satan pull up in a red Ferrari Don't be trying to put your fucking arm around me 44 shots traumatizing from the 45 Hit 44 more carbon copies Then you kamikaze, that's for everybody Mama, poppy, sister, brother, cousin, uncle, auntie This is not Versace, this is Hahabachi This is Hiroshima, this is Nagasaki I'm a hot Gandhi, a fucking humanoid Anunnaki With plenty hammers when I'm riding shoddy Better use your manners when you talk about me Ain't too hard to find me, I've been killing niggas selling nothing left though Tryna look and sicker than a strep though Spend a bitch you wanna give me best off Then myself I got I was next though Spit out your crib right after I clean out your shit And then put all of your fucking money in the escrow Fuck what you saying, I'm not the one that you play with I think they really was thinking I was the next though You thought wrong or you all gone? All done I just might bring back Don Juan I just might bring back Sean John Tell P. Diddy that I'm on one I'ma beat it down with a do-rag Pussy ate out, this a pop gun. If I fuck with you, that's too bad How you played out like the dance song Ain't no bygones, be bygones I should murder niggas when I buy guns How you get stretched like nylon This is my band, I'm Dylon All I wanna do is just drop bombs So you chain lead the niggas with the pom-poms my Jamaica bitch got socks on Every time I hit it, she be like, wagwan Peter the pepper, pick the pepper, and I pick the pressure Pick a fighter, pick a side, I put you on a stretcher Peter the pepper, pick the banana, put it together Start a popping at the people, they bout to meet the Beretta Better meet the metal, I'm in need of a heated to measure Put you deeper, then was deeper to see you in the desert I was scheming while I'm creeping, like 50 feet of the jet And niggas Peter hit the pedal and put my feet in the metal, goddamn 508 all on my side, they gon' ride, they gon' ride Nigga, this a homicide, oh my god, oh my god I said I was gon' retire, bitch I lied, bitch I lied I ain't got no fucking job, this my life this my way. All of y'all wish she ain't washy. All y'all my kids in the car I take my down to Hibachi. We do six nine like Takashi. Line in the sand, too much time in your hands. I think y'all need to find you a hobby. God got a plan, hope that God holds your hand. I think I'm about to catch me a body. Tell all my teachers that I said I'm back on my G shit and I'm coming back to get even. I went on tour and got paid, now I'm back in the region. I let off this Mac for no reason. You went out with this and greatness, I'm practically preaching. And this is the passion of Jesus. And all you basic motherfuckers are lacking achievement. And I just been laughing and geeky. Bad to business, I got mad intentions. I ain't perfect, I done made some bad decisions. What is competition? I'm a savage winner, you can have the digits. I'm a mathematician, I don't see you niggas. I've been lacking vision, you've been acting different. I've been acting what up people that's a wrap today was a heavy day chest day and i did biceps and uh this is probably the third session that i've killed it so hard that i really wasn't able to do everything i came to do because today i was supposed to do chest biceps and triceps but uh didn't happen that way i really been kind of focusing on trying to make sure i touch something heavy not every time but at least once a week for each uh, of my workouts I don't want to be too long with it. I don't want to bore you guys. That's why I started off this video with the workout today instead of talking first. But um, I just want to deliver a quick little message. Last week, I came to the gym. I worked out with my buddy Max. I have my camera. Uh, of course, I have the tripod. I keep it on there. And while we we're working out, a chick decided to do an IG story of me and Max saying something along the lines of, wow, so impressive. Uh, you need a tripod to do lightweight but she took a video of me doing a warm-up of course i'm not paying attention we're really just focused on doing the video and we stay out of everybody's way i didn't know she was talking about us at the time because i wasn't paying attention but when i got home a buddy of mine sent me a video from her ig story where she was talking about it now i would i admit I did decide to get a little petty and I messaged her and also messaged her husband because that's who she was kind of going back and forth with talking to him. And I guess, I don't know, she just wanted a little clout to make herself feel better because after she posted the post about us, she posted another post that said, meanwhile, I'm lifting real weight, something, something like that. I'm paraphrasing, but she was just, she was half repping on a shoulder press machine. Honestly, I shouldn't care and I really don't but they just caught me on a certain day where I decided to be, I guess, sensitive, whatever it might be. But normally I don't care. And you're probably wondering why are you telling us this if you really don't care? Well, the reason I'm saying this is because a thought popped in, into my head. That is one of those situations that people encounter and it discourages them. It might not have bothered me. I could deal with it and be like, okay, whatever. You don't like it. I have a tripod. I'm going to bring that shit even more to annoy you. But there's some people out there that are doing something that they really like or love to do. And when they encounter people like that, that don't like what they're doing or try to make them feel bad for what they're doing, they get discouraged and they may possibly stop or they have. So if that is you or you know somebody like that, get up and keep going. Do not let little issues like that stop you especially a person keep grinding keep following your dreams whatever you want to do do not let anything or anyone stop you or discourage you 
Don't let embarrassment because you think you might look silly, whatever it might be. Every time I'm in this gym, people look at me. Some people are cool because they understand, like, yo, he's doing YouTube, obviously. And other people are like, why you have a camera? You shooting commercials, you know? Or they just look at me weird when I'm talking into a cam like I am right now. And they probably think I look silly, but that's just how it goes. When they go home, they're going to watch somebody on YouTube. So don't let anything stop you. The more you do it, and the more you do it in front of people, the more you show up and perform, the better you get at it the more confident you'll be, and the more you'll get it done. But that's all I gotta say. I hope you guys really liked the video, man. I love working out. I'm trying to get school. I'm trying to bring you guys on a journey with me, but I'm also wanting to entertain and educate and bring as much information about this as possible, all right? But other than that, I'm gonna sign out. Darnell B, Hip Hop and Fitness. Peace.